Hello, St. Philippe and friends. Pastor Tim Westermeyer here again with you. I hope that as you're watching this, this finds you well uh, and healthy and not feeling too isolated. Uh, lots has changed in the last week or two, obviously, and we're trying to find ways to stay connected and stay in touch. And we hope uh, this podcast, as well as our virtual services and other efforts, are helping on that front. Today, I want to lift up uh, the work of a favorite author of mine. His name is Frederick Beekner. He's written a number of books. Uh, I, I like him so much, actually, that in my office I have a framed letter from him uh, blessing me in my ministry. And when he writes about the entirety of his work, one of the themes he says is critical to it is the theme of paying attention. In other words, thinking about where is God with me today? Where, what is God asking of me today? Where is God leading me today? Where am I seeing God at work today? And I want to, um, taking a cue actually from Pastor Matheson's sermon this past weekend, she quoted Desmond Tutu, Tutu who talked about, um, in a crisis it's important to show your humanity. I want to just talk about some of the things I'm paying attention to right now in terms of things that I'm grieving, uh, because of this crisis and also maybe a little bit of some hints of things that are worth celebrating. I want to be very clear about this. Uh, I recognize this is a serious health pandemic. The things I'm going to be talking about uh, you might call first world problems. Uh, I am not at all saying they rise to the level of significance uh, other than that they're the kind of things that are significant to me right now. And so I thought I'd lift them up and then invite all of you, if you're interested, to in the comments below, indicate some of what you're thinking along the same line. So on the grieving um, or sad side, uh, you know, obviously my wife Amy and I are thinking about our children. Uh, our oldest son Luke is out at Gonzaga. He's a senior. Um, and so this is going to radically impact his senior year. There likely won't be a graduation, um, again, in the not particularly important but still significant uh, area. His college, his university, Gonzaga, would have been a real contender in this year's NCAA uh, tournament, and so we're sad we can't see that. Our second son, Sam, plays uh, collegiate baseball. Uh, as I taped this, we were supposed to be down in Florida watching him play. So his entire season will be lost to this pandemic. And again, not critically important in the grand scheme of things, but sad for him and for those of us who are looking forward to it. Um, we're obviously concerned for our parents who are more isolated than normal. And here at church, um, it's uh, sad not to be able, able to see all of you, to gather together in worship, uh, to pray together, Together, to serve communion with and for you. Uh, so those are some of the things I'm grieving. Now on the flip side, and again, please hear me, I am not saying it's a good thing that this is happening, but in the face of it, there are some early si signs of blessing. So I've been able to go on more walks with my wife. Uh, our family is sharing more meals together. We've been able to see here at St. Philip to Deacon all kinds of creative ways that we're trying, again, imperfectly, but we're trying to stay connected with all of you. Uh, and on our uh, larger families, uh, at home I mean, we're connecting with them in some unusual ways as well, and that's not a bad thing. So again, I'm encouraging you today Pay attention to where you find God. Pay attention in your own lives to what you're grieving. And also maybe pay attention to the ways that God is blessing you in this particular time. And if you're willing, we would love for you to share some of those thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, be well, stay in touch, and God bless.